Hi there, in this video I'm going to take a look at some of the free and open source elevation data sets that are available out there on the internet that you can make use of in your GIS projects. So the first one that I'm going to look at is one of the most widely used global elevation data sets available. Um, and that's something called the SRTM or Shuttle Radar Topography Mission data set. So there's actually quite a few places that you can get hold of this. Um, but my preferred source, because it's pretty easy to use, is earthexplorer.usgs.gov. Um, there's actually tons of data sets on here, so it's worth taking a look. Some of them are US specific, but quite a lot of them are, are global. So the SRTM data set is here under, once you get to data sets, the digital elevation section, and then SRTM has its own subsection within that area. Um, and the SRTM was generated back in 2014 using syn uh, interferometric synthetic aperture radar, which is essentially a remote sensing technique for generating elevation data. Um, and the SRTM data set is one arc second resolution globally. So what that equates to essentially is about a 30 meter resolution elevation model at the equator. So around the equator, each pixel in our, our elevation model is going to be about 30 by 30 meters. And then that gets slightly finer as we move up into the, the higher latitude. So you're looking at a 30 meter or better resolution elevation data set. So it's not going to allow you to pick out really fine details. We're not going to be picking out individual trees and buildings. Um, but if you want a decent resolution elevation data set that's going to be available no matter where you're working in the world, then SRTM is probably the place to go. So if we want other elevation data sets or slightly higher resolution, then there are a number of sources out there. And one website that's aiming to bring some of those sources together is opendem.info. So there's a couple of different options for downloading elevation data here. So what I'm looking at on this screen is actually the Open DEM Europe. So we can see this grid here with mostly gray cells, a few orange and green. So from having a quick look at this, what it looks like is that for most of Europe, they're simply supplying the SRTM data that I just mentioned. So the, the kind of 30 meter resolution or better elevation data set. However, for some areas, which are the ones highlighted in orange and green, um, they do have higher resolution elevation data available. So exactly what that is varies. So I'm not going to click on every area and um, download it in this video, but it is much higher resolution elevation data. So if you're looking for elevation data across Europe, um, then there is some available here. And then also, if you go to the Open DEM searcher, then this brings up some other higher resolution data sets as well. And you can see that we have this option at the bottom to actually filter it by high resolution DEMs and middle resolution DEMs. Um, so you can see middle resolution, we have quite wide scale coverage across North America, Australia, parts of Europe, Greenland. Um, but if you're looking for detailed elevation data, then probably what you're most interested in are the high resolution DEMs. And again, we've got a range of different data sets that this links to. But what it does allow you to do is to kind of zoom in, click on the area you're interested in, and slightly clunky interface. It will then provide you with some brief information on what this data is, where it covers, what license it's under, the resolution of the data set, so in this case, two meter resolution um, elevation data, and a link for where you can go to download it. So this is global in coverage, but obviously data isn't available everywhere. So it's mostly at the moment across North America and, and parts of Europe. Uh, and there's also a number of other data sets available specifically for North America and parts of Europe. So if you're looking for US data, it's also worth heading over to this website, viewer.nationalmap.gov. And they have a number of elevation products available for the US. 
So again, there's variable coverage with a lot of these. So actually, if you go to Elevation Products and um, the one third arc second DM, so if you remember the one arc second is about 30 meter resolution. So this is around about 10 meter resolution or slightly better elevation data. And that's got complete coverage for kind of mainland United States um, and also Hawaii um, and Puerto Rico. Um, it's gradually getting coverage for Alaska. It covers most of Alaska, but not all of Alaska. However, that's not too much of a problem because there is actually a separate higher resolution five meter elevation model um, available for Alaska only. Um, if you want higher resolution data, there are also some other data sets available down here under this elevation source data. So if I just hide the availability of this one for a second, and show availability down here. So this is coverage for higher resolution, kind of normally around one meter resolution um, elevation data. So the DEM source is an elevation model layer. There is also some LiDAR point cloud data. Now, my next video is going to be looking at actually how we can use some of these elevation data sets and the kind of things we can do with them. Um, and generally speaking, if we're carrying out kind of standard GIS analysis for most uses, the DEM data in raster format is going to be much easier to work with. Um, LiDAR point clouds come in slightly different data formats and usually require quite a lot more pre-processing before we can work with them. So unless you know that you specifically need to work with point cloud data, um, then probably the, the DEM data is going to be the, the place to go to. And we can see that that's got so-so okay, coverage across chunks of, of the US. So moving on from the US, um, if you're in the the UK and Ireland, we've got a number of different portals that allow us access to mostly LiDAR data, which is essentially airborne laser scanning. So if you want data on England, the place to go to is environment.data.gov.uk and then click on the surveys link up here. Okay, and once this is loaded, this takes us to the DEFRA survey data portal. Um, and this actually gives us the option to upload shapefiles of the area we want to download or simply draw an area of interest on our map. So if I just zoom in somewhere, um, and I can draw, draw myself a polygon. And then click get available tiles to see what data they've got. Um, so as I said, the main product we have here is the Environment Agency's LiDAR data. And they now have coverage of about two thirds of England um, with this data. And we have a number of different products here. Um, composite DSM. So a DSM is a surface model that includes trees and buildings. A DTM is a terrain model that has trees, buildings, those kind of features stripped away to leave the bare earth underneath. Um, so the composite layers are essentially the most recent available data patched together. So that could be taken from different points in time. Whereas the DSM and DTM tiles are dated surveys. So if you need to know exactly what date your elevation data is coming from, um, then you need to choose the tiles option. And we also have the point cloud option here as well. So as I said with the, the US data, normally the DSMs and DTMs are easier to work with. So unless you specifically know you need point cloud data, they're probably the options to go with. And we also have similar sites for Wales at lle.gov.wales forward slash grid products. And very similar to the English LiDAR data, we have composite data sets, um, DSMs and DTMs and available at various different resolutions. And similarly for Scotland, we have remotesensingdata.gov.scot. Uh, if you click get started, again, this brings up various different data sets, both surface models, terrain models, 
and point clouds. So LAS, LAS um, is a, a point cloud format. For Northern Ireland, things are a bit more hit and miss. You can go to opendataNI.gov.uk and search for LIDAR. Um, and it's a bit more patchy. There's not a kind of coherent portal that gives you national coverage. So you will have to search through a bit to try and find out if there's coverage of the area that you want. And for Republic of Ireland, um, our website is data.gov.ie forward slash dataset forward slash open dash topographic dash lidar dash data. Um, and if we click on the details button and go to resource here, then they also have a, an ArcGIS portal, a bit like the DEFRA one for England, um, that allows us to view LIDAR coverage. Again, we can see it's not got complete coverage of Ireland, um, particularly following kind of rivers and, and floodplains. Um, similarly, we have various different data products that we can can download. So I'm not going to go into more details on those at the moment. Um, but there you go. So that gives you a range of elevation data sets to look at. So whether you want global coverage, um, at lower resolution, high resolution data sets available on OpenDEM and various higher resolution products available on National Map for the US. Um, and then environment.data.gov.uk, lle.gov.wales, and remote sensing data.gov.scotland um, if you're looking at UK data. And obviously, there are various other elevation data sets available out there. So, Google is very much your friend if you're trying to find high resolution data of an area that I've, I've not looked at. But that should give you some good starting points for elevation data for your GIS projects. So, keep an eye open soon. Um, for my next video, which will be showing you how to get started working with some of these elevation data sets and the kind of things that we can do with them.